Hello everyone, it's Dragon Platinum here, and today we are back again with SCP-3008. Now today, we are going to be building ourselves a space station. Uh, as you can tell, I have lowered the gravity so it's more space-like, and uh, we are up super, super high. We're about, like, almost... we're 428 studs high. So we're pretty high up in the air. I was going to go up higher, but I, I wanted to make it pretty easy to get back up if we do fall down. And, uh, yeah, this should be pretty cool. I think it'll be fun, and hopefully I don't get the floor pulled out from under me, and I fall all the way back down to the ground, because that would kind of suck. Alright, so really quickly, just before this video begins, guys, we're getting super, super close to 30,000 subscribers. If you haven't subscribed already, go down below, hit that subscribe button, it helps out a bunch, and it will notify you whenever there's a brand new video. Okay, so we have the team finally trying to put together the space station. Um, things did not start off well, I'll say that much. Uh, almost immediately, the platform just kind of disappeared, and people were falling left and right, but now it looks like we've got some semblance of coming together, and uh, actually trying to put this thing together. The only problem is, is that if a single piece of the floor gets removed, it gets pretty tough, and uh, people tend to fall off, and it, 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 gets, pretty, it gets pretty rough. Alright, so it looks like we've already got some people trying to work on some sort of solar panel. They've also asked me to spawn in a few poles, which I believe is for- Don't- No, <laughs> I will send you down into the void. Do not do this to me. Uh, I believe that they're asking for poles to actually place the uh, solar panels onto them. So that is going to be fun. Uh, yeah, I, I just have to stay on my toes. Usually I don't have to worry, but like now I'm extremely paranoid and I do not like- just like people staring at me whenever I'm trying to just stand still and spawn items. It kind of sucks. Okay, so things are looking pretty good so far. Obviously, we have a much more stone or like construction based looking material for our actual walls and stuff. And I think it's coming together nicely so far. It's just, it's really, really, really hard to build because of the fact that sometimes people will pull blocks out from under me. Or, uh, they'll try to at least, and I manage to escape. Usually I do. Not all the time, but I have. Um, <laughs> if I ever do actually fall off, I'll show you guys what happens, but... So far, we're looking pretty good, and we're actually doing quite a bit of work here, so that is good to see. We've got a, a decent floor put together, and we've even got our entrance coming together here, so that is good. Alright, so work has been continuing. Uh, a few people have fallen off every so often, and I've had to teleport them up. So that's been kind of hard to, to keep track of all that kind of stuff. But the space station is coming together nicely. What are, what are, you, what are you staring at? Um, over here. Oh, we need more glass. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I need to spawn more glass. Yeah, I've just been spawning so much stuff because we've been blowing through everything so quickly. But I am absolutely loving this area. The TVs and everything just over here is looking amazing. I absolutely love it. I, I think, I think... I think it's either a viewing area, or like maybe some sort of control area, I'm not terribly sure just yet, but it looks awesome. Uh, over here we have my <laughs> computer that I built, and uh, we've got some like beds and stuff going up. Back here we got more beds, more walls with windows and all that good stuff. And over here we've actually got our solar panels, we just kind of hop out, which look amazing. I think we need to set up maybe some more solar panels on the other side, but we got some stuff coming along here. I tried to add a planet. Uh, that was supposed to be Earth. Y you could take it or leave it. I I, I was just trying something out, but uh, I, I think I'm gonna put a whole bunch of like little uh, spheres all over the place to make it look like planets or stars, and you know it might look kind of cool. I think. Also, for some reason, we have locked Badge up again. I. What, why does he always get either locked up or... You, you know what? Badge is fine. He can handle his own, I'm sure. Things are looking really good right now. Um, I'm just setting up some lights to kind of make things a little bit brighter around here. And not as dark as it is or was earlier. Uh, it, it will turn night eventually and we will get to see this thing in all of its nighttime glory. But for now, it's going to stay daytime just so people can build easy. Also, you can kind of tell that this floor was removed. Yeah, I had like four or five people fall through it, had to teleport them back up. That was pretty rough, but uh, we managed to repair it, so that's good. Also, is that sand from Undertale? 
Where's... Why, why doesn't he have a skeleton head? And I think we should be working on a roof right now because uh, currently we're letting all of the oxygen out, which surprisingly can make things hard to breathe if uh, you don't exactly have any air. So I'm going to work on making a roof. Hopefully we can light that up and it will look super nice. And once we actually close this thing off, I think it should look really cool. Okay, so apparently we have an issue. Uh, Badge is kind of shaking, I think. Oh, no, no, no! Oh! Oh, man. I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it was, it was gonna happen eventually. I knew it. Uh. How you doing? Alright, well, we're back up. Uh, apparently... <laughs> Badge was shaking earlier and people were saying he's either cold or possessed. I'm kind of leaning towards possessed. No, not again. That is not happening again. I am not going back down there. Who? Were you, did you, did you try to, what, what, where are you taking that wall? I need that wall back. You gotta, you gotta fix the floor. All right. Things are looking much better now. We have a lot more of an ability to breathe when all of our oxygen is not being vented constantly. So that's always a nice thing to have. Um, I'm thinking we need to set up some lights up on the roof so things are a little bit brighter. And I do think that we're still working on different rooms. Uh, this room has kind of halted on production. I'm not sure. Oh my god, this is so cool. It is a docking station. That is awesome. Th this is probably my favorite room. Hands down, my favorite room so far. Uh, over this way, we've still got obviously the living quarters and stuff being built over here. And then I believe there was this area down here, which I wasn't too sure what it is, but that's pretty cool. And then up here, uh, we've also got another area being worked on, but I don't know what it is just yet. Also, what what is this? <laughs> what? Whoa, no, 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 no. Oh, man, I can't get distracted anymore. I keep getting the floor pulled out from under me. Okay. Oh, wow, there is a lot of people down here. Oh, apparently this is supposed to be a test chamber, I think. Hold on. Okay, we're going to spawn one single employee. And uh, I don't want to spawn too many because if they overrun the space station, that would kind of suck. Uh, where is employee menu? Okay, let's spawn this guy in. There we go. And actually, you know, let's give him a friend. I don't want him to be lonely. We'll give him, we'll give him a wide employee as well. There we go. Oh my god, that is a wide employee. Okay, they should be fine. Uh, you'll be fine too, I'm sure. Also, I need to say that I swear that this hallway keeps getting brighter and brighter every single time I walk through it. Uh, they, they keep adding like more and more lights to it. But over here, we've got our Earth sort of globe thing. Uh, docking station over here. This thing looks insanely nice. This part of the space station, I think, is probably my, my favorite part so far. And uh, I'm very impressed by it. I think they might need more lights in here, though, so I'll spawn in some more of that. But, it's looking really good. Also, can we talk about... I, I spawned in a bunch of windowed walls, and like I, I did it in a line, so this looks really, really trippy. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? Yeah, it looks really weird, but uh, they're actually all individual parts, if I just pull one out. Like, look. See? It's kind of weird. Also, Cole, what are you... What? What? What are you doing? I, I've got a feeling that we have somebody doing a little bit of an ex uh, exploiting, might be exploiting a little bit, but, uh, hi. <laughs> as long as he's not doing anything malicious, I don't really mind, but, uh, yeah, everything is looking amazing so far. This room still coming along beautifully, although the earth has disappeared for some reason, so that is gone. Uh, where, what's, actually, I haven't been out near the docking station at all. What is out this way? Interesting. Very, very interesting. Let's go check the solar panels really quickly. They're still doing perfectly fine. Where did the Earth go, though? I'm a little bit concerned about that. I have no idea where it got to. Either, well, it could have fallen all the way down, which would be kind of rough, but, uh, yeah, I have no idea where it is. It's actually pretty hard setting out the planets as well, because uh, I gotta be careful, and I'm trying to set them away far enough so people don't go and grab them. Although, I'm, I'm pretty sure that they will eventually, but... You know, I'm trying my best here. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Alright, let's get up a little bit higher. There we go. Now we've got two planets up here. we got red and purple. we got yellow over there. I believe there is blue's been taken. Why do people keep stealing the Earth? I will never know. 
There we go, I've added in a reactor, so we have that now. There's our power source, a giant red ball. Uh, we've got the planets out there, finally Earth hasn't been stolen away. Uh, up there we have the sun, I think. Uh, that is another planet, don't really know what it is. Uh, over this way, we have some more planets just up here. We have purple and red. I tried to keep them near the uh, actual like windows and stuff, but it is kind of hard. I think there's a white planet around here somewhere, but it's over that way, and uh, yeah, it, it it's looking pretty cool. I'm actually, I think that this area is starting to come together pretty cool. Oh, also, we're gonna finally see what this thing looks like at night for once, and uh, it looks really, really good. It, it looks a lot more space-like when it's actually at night, and like, the lights look nice, everything looks nice and lit up. It actually looks really cool in here. This turned out really well. Um, the one thing I need to check on is our SCP captives, which are no longer in here. I think we might have ejected them. There's a good chance that somebody removed the floor and actually sent them all the way down, so we might not even have them anymore. And over here, we've even added a command station uh, with three seats. That looks kind of cool. We, we don't have an exact command uh, like sort of pod or area, but you know what one right in the middle of the entire space station will do just fine So we've even managed to set up a boardroom meeting table thing here, which is pretty cool I was trying to put on some like Holographic spheres or something like that to symbolize earth, but then they kind of got robbed. So <laughs> You know, that's kind of how things go sometimes currently just patching up the last few holes I don't know what it is. I've, I've kind of called it like a viewing area base section. I have no idea what this part is for, but you know what? Sometimes not every part needs a purpose. It just needs to not vent oxygen out into the outer space. Okay, so I think we're finally pretty much done. Um, let's just do a quick run through of the whole base so I can show it off to you guys. So over here, we have our entrance area, which also has our power core. Uh, just over here, we have our docking station, as you can see. It would obviously extend out, retract, whenever we're accepting new ships onto our International Space Station. Uh, we have like a little corner part. Don't know what that's for. Uh, if we head in, this is like our main pod of everything that happens. We've got the control station here. I don't know what this area is. I never have known what it is. Uh, my tiny computer has been utterly torn apart, so <laughs> so much for that thing. Uh, over here we have our solar panels, and you can see all the different planets that are outside. Uh, over here we have badge and him containment, because they are very dangerous criminals who for some reason we have locked on the International Space Station. In here we have the apartment area that has sleeping pods for four people plus one more person who could just sleep in the corner, I guess. And then if we make our way over this way, we have some more sleeping area. And then down here, we have an actual like viewing area, viewing station. Not really sure what needs to go down here, but we have it and it looks pretty cool. All right guys, so that's really all I've got for this video. This base came together beautifully in my opinion. Uh, the very beginning was pretty rough because we only had like a small work area to work with and people kept pulling the floor out and uh, it, it, it tends to make things pretty tough to build when you're falling to your death continuously, so. But no, we came together, we put together the space station, we have this amazing team here and uh, honestly, it turned out really well. So anyways guys, I hope you guys liked our space station. Thank you to everybody who came out. It was an absolute pleasure building with you guys, except for the people who kept pulling the floor out from under me. I don't know who you are. I never got to see who you were, but that sucked. <laughs> but anyways guys, that's really all I've got for this video. So hey, if you guys liked this video, feel free to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always guys, it's Dragon Platinum, signing out. Peace out guys. Bye.